There is nothing in your life that's worthwhile, that's quick and easy. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Does it come to you? You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day. Which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never going to feel like it. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. So I just need you to think about three people in your family that you love, three people. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you're doing. Do you have some days where you just want to hit the snooze button? Raise your hand for me. You want to hit the snooze button. So watch this. This is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about granny, you got to think about, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who you doing this for? So the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. When you think about your siblings, when you think about mom and dad and grandma, when you think about your uncle and aunts, when you think about those people who've been there for you, just raise your hand if you say, E.T., sleep is better than that. When that alarm clock goes off at 4 or 5 in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is, you get up every fucking morning at 4 o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. These test days, they test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job. Though. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. Your mind is a weapon and you got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know that the harder the task, the harder the obstacle to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. It's an opportunity to prove that you're a winner. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head when you look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad motherfucker, you actually believe it. That's the importance of passing these tests. Successful people love the experience of not feeling like doing sh but then going and kicking ass anyway. They understand that those are the real victories in life. They understand that it's easy to do sh when you feel like doing sh but they also understand that the real magic, the real glory is earned when your heart is not into something, but your mind tells you, F you, I'm gonna do this sh anyway, and does it. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions thrive on. And you don't get here by quitting when you tire. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. What if you give it everything you have and you come up short? What if you get weak along the way and you throw in the towel on yourself, you surrender? What then? A lot of people become discouraged, they become frustrated, and they say, oh, what the heck? And they go back to doing what they were doing before saying it doesn't work. If somebody came and knocked you down, boom, and ain't nothing you can do about it. But if I come back a week later and you're still on the ground, we got a problem. And some of you, you say, Eric, it ain't my fault. You right. The way you were born, what happened to you is not your fault. But doggone it, you still on the ground after 20 years? You have absolutely nothing to do with what happened to you. It's not your fault. You got knocked on the ground. You had absolutely nothing to do with that. And I'm not blaming you for that. But if I come back a week later, you still on the ground. That's your fault. If I come back a year later, you still on the ground? That's your fault.
If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. You don't belong at the bottom. And it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Keep playing the game. Keep grinding. Keep working. And that other stuff will take care of itself. I can because I'm capable. I will because I'm strong. I must because they count on me. I can. I will. I must. I will my way through every situation, every trial, every tribulation. I will my way through it. I don't care if it's cancer. I will my way through it. I don't care if it's MS. I will my way through it. I don't care if I'm struggling in school and I'm trying to get a degree. I will my way through it. I don't care if you fail the boards. Go again. I don't care if you fail the law exam. Go again. Will your way through it. Some things you can skill yourself through. Some stuff you got to will your way through. This is not a year that you're going to be doing a lot of talking. This is the year for grinding. This is not the year of dreaming. We're not dreaming no more. We're not wishing no more. We're not watching other people ride the ride no more. This is our year where we don't need phenomenal skill. We just need a phenomenal will. So they're going to say no when you knock on the door. I will. It's going to rain sometimes. I will. You're going to feel discouraged sometimes. I will. No matter what the obstacle, I will. I will. I will. I must. Some decisions are major decisions, and also there are a lot of small decisions that we don't make, that they tax our minds, they drain our energy, they create a lot of anxiety and nervousness and mental torment because we don't take care of it. We decide not to decide, which is a decision. Imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? How much time do you spend working on you? How much time do you spend every day working on your dream? What kind of investment have you made in you? If your mentality is, I can't wait to see what happens great to me in 2022, you are going to get fucking sh** as a result. Life does not reward people who wait to see what happens. What you put in, you will get out. So if you want 2022 to actually be different, you have to not only be willing to visualize and manifest, you have to be willing to grit it out. You have to be willing to push through discomfort. Nothing that you're about to try or do or achieve that is worthwhile is going to be comfortable for you during the process of creating it. And I want you to take the word hope and I want you to throw it on the motherfucking ground and I want you to replace it with the word I will fucking do in 2022. Woe be unto you if you go into another year and waste another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital begging God for the opportunity that you have right now. You better step into this moment. You're only here for a short time. If you're not going to show people what's possible, who the fuck else is? Who's going to show your kids? Who's going to show your aunts and uncles? Who's going to show your fucking nieces and nephews? Are you going to fail those people? Are you going to buy into the narrative that you can't? Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. You don't want to be a spectator. You want to get out in the field where the action is and you will be amazed. After the struggle, there will be a calm period and things will begin to click for you. Come out here with what you got. You don't have enough money? Don't worry about it. You got the dream. You must be patient, persistent, and positive no matter what. But aren't there some guarantees you can give us? Yes, you're going to die. You can't get out of life alive. So I'm saying to you, you got six months to live. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. Start acting like this is your last day on the planet. 
You have a choice to either give up or keep going. Give up or get up. You have to save your own life. Nobody's going to be able to save it for you. So we have to do what we have to do, no matter what it is. You're going to have to be your own hero. So you can stop waiting for it, you can stop wishing for it, and you can get on with the rest of your life. I love myself enough not to be trapped in the same doggone spot for the rest of my life. I'm not stupid, I see what's going on, but I don't want to focus on that because if I put my energy into something negative, automatically my body's going to respond and I'm going to start doing negative stuff. That's the way the body is designed. You talk negative and your body does negative. You talk negative, you get diseases. You talk negative, mentally certain things happen. I'm not stupid, I know how to talk negative, but I've come to realize that when you think optimistically and you speak positively, you can speak those things which are not as though they were. You can say certain things out your mouth and make it happen. You want affirmation, look yourself in the mirror and say, I think I can, I think I can, I know I can. Do whatever it takes, you your biggest driver. You see, the fight's not over if you've been knocked down. It's only over if you quit. All I'm saying is don't quit. I didn't say don't rest. I didn't say don't recover. I said don't quit. Mentally, you ain't got to take off. Mentally, you can stay connected. And some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop and you give it up to ease. I need effort from you. I need you to match whatever effort the enemy is putting up. Match the doggone effort. At the end of pain is your million. At the end of pain is your reward. At the end of pain is your productivity. At the end of pain is your promise. So stop crying about it and use your energy to get through it. You gotta look at life when life knocks you down and says, this all you got? Is this it? I was born in the dark, shaped in the dark, molded by the dark. I will break you. You recycle your pain. You use your pain. Pain is temporary. Pain is your friend. Pain is gonna take you to the next level. No pain, no gain. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's gonna take its place? Success. Recycle your pain. You can decide the shape, the form. You can decide the product that comes from your pain. I cannot stop what happens to me, but I can dictate how I respond. But if you do, you will be broke. And I'm not here because I'm the best. I'm here because they tried to break me, and they could. I invested too much to quit. I made too many sacrifices to give up. So when life happens, I don't just sit there and cry. I brought back. I brought back. Average people live off talent. Phenomenal people live off effort. Life gonna whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop whining. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Let it hit you. But don't let it punk you. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. I don't care if you sick. I don't care what you're going through. If you are not dead, he ain't through with you yet. As long as you waking up, you still in the game. As long as you alive, you can still make it happen. As long as there's breath in your nostrils, you still in the game. You still can win. Now get your butt up. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. Have opinions and feelings about yourself independent of the feedback. The day that you allow the opinions of the outside world to dictate the way you feel about yourself, it is the beginning of the end of you living a blessed and self-loving, secure life. It is not the car that I drive or any of the jewelry that I own or the size of my house that defines my self-worth. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot when you don't think I'm hot. I'm amazing when you don't think I'm amazing. I love me even if you stop loving me. You can say the nastiest, meanest, evilest shit that you could ever conjure up. It will never change the way I feel about myself. It's not what they say about you that matters. It is what you say about you that threatens your destiny. You will never be defeated by what they say about you. You will be defeated by what you say about you.
I am great, and I don't owe anybody an apology. I am phenomenal, and I don't owe anybody an apology. I am going to do great things, and I don't owe anybody an apology. Stand up for your dream. Stand up for what you want in your life. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. You've got to say, yes, I can make it. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes, yes. It's your dream. Nobody's gonna see it like you do it. It's your dream. Nobody's gonna feel it like you feel it. It's your dream. Nobody's gonna be as dedicated to it as you are. It's your dream and they don't have to understand and they don't have to like it and they don't have to do it. It doesn't make a difference. It's your dream. And you, my friend, have been given the task to make it happen and you can't let anything stop you from doing what you were called to do. I was created to do great things and I will no longer ask others for their permission. I don't expect you to believe in my dream like I believe in my dream. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. Cause this is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. I need specifics. What are you doing on Monday? What are you doing on Tuesday? What are you doing on Wednesday? You need to be very specific. It's time to put your pieces together of your puzzle. I put mine together. I put this life together. I made this happen. Nobody helping get here. I had to get up. I had to go to class. I had to read. I had to study. I had to write. I understood that the dream is real, but the lifestyle is real. You got to earn this. Let the dream strip you. Let it remake and mold you. Life gonna whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop crying. Be demanding. Let it hit you, but don't let it pump you. We all go through it. Some of you know you let your pain pump you. You let your pain make you quit. You have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for it. And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. You dream for a month and when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You dream for a while and when people tell you crazy, when people tell you stupid, or when people tell you can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. And I dare you to use your imagination. I dare you when you broke to use your imagination. I dare you when you're rich to use your imagination. I dare you under every single circumstance. Keep dreaming. Keep focusing on your dream. Keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. Because of our mental conditioning, we unconsciously build a case on why we can't do something. You can't do that. You don't have any college training. You can't do that. You don't have the money. You don't have the contacts. It's a natural inclination for us to put ourselves down. See, we are born negative, I think, in a negative consciousness because we live in a negative world. Don't let this negative world get to you. Don't let it win. Stop beating up on yourself. You do do it. I know you do it. I've done it. Life is serious and you have to be serious about taking care of your mental state. So I'm saying learn to be your own booster. Start building yourself up. Start encouraging yourself. If you don't program your mind, your mind will be programmed because human beings are goal oriented. Turn a deaf ear to people that all they can do is talk about how negative things are because they have bought into the consciousness of the world. Start listening to tapes on a daily basis to begin to recondition your mind, to retrain your thinking. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself and a new life for yourself. You might appear to be strange around most people, but you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. You ignore that inner voice and all of the external voices. Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances because the circumstances won't determine who you are. Start saying, I can do this. I can make this happen. Come on, man, get yourself together. You can do this. You can handle this. This is not a big deal. 
You're amazing. This too shall pass. You can handle this. You just haven't figured it out yet. You can do this. Other people have done it. Doesn't take an Einstein. Take some seminars, workshops, read some books on how to manage your business. You've got your gifts. You've got your talents. Stay focused on what you're doing. Focus your energy. That kind of talk, saying that to yourself, drives back the other voices of negativity that we all have. You've got to be willing to prepare yourself and do the best you can. Take your best shot. Start working and developing yourself now, and prepare yourself for what it is that you want, because you expect to get it. Do you have the courage to believe in your own ideas? Do you have the courage to think something beyond where you are? Because if you can think, you can change. You can move. You can evolve. You can grow. You can become. You are one thought away from a great reformation in your life. One thought away from being a millionaire. One thought from overcoming. You are one thought away from the great. This experience you have ever had in your life. Your credit is not a problem. Your house is not a problem. Your situation is not a problem. Your thoughts are the problem. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Everything starts in the thoughts you think. If you think little, you go little. If you think weak, you go weak. If you think up, you go up. One thought. Look out from where you are. What you see is what you'll be. If you see. Nothing, you'll be nothing. So now is the season for you to move distractions, confusion, turmoil out of the way to find a peaceful place where you can meditate and think. What am I going to do at this season of my life? What could I do with the circumstances of my life? What would you do with what you have to make it better? One thought delivers you from hopping around in the failures of your past to standing up like a man and say, "I'm going to be defined by what's in front of me and not what's behind." Me. You will not beat me because I think myself to be strong enough to fight you back off of me. How much time you really waste? For real. How much time do you have left? When you start thinking about that, we don't know. Right now, we have the most valuable asset on earth on our side, time, but it's running out. And to make that first step towards greatness. Is the hardest step, and you're gonna have to fight and fight and fight and fight, and most of you won't be successful not because you can't do it, but you can't outlast your old you long enough to get to your new you. Because let's face it, when the alarm goes off, you got your head on that soft pillow. It's all nice and cozy and warm in there. You do not feel like getting up. You should not. That snooze alarm is the dream killer. When you press that snooze button, you're killing your dreams. Every single day when you wake up, you got two options. You can look at the clock and hit the snooze. You can look at that snooze button, boom. You can hit the snooze button and go back to bed and dream about what you want to have. Or you can look at that snooze button, kick that clock, and get up and go pursue your dreams. It's so easy, so easy to put things off. So easy to say you're gonna do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today. You get it done today. That's what you do. If you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. No more excuses. No more hesitation. No more procrastination. No more negotiation. No more go on the attack. You don't stop until it's done. Don't expect front row seats if you're giving those bleed effort. Everybody want to win. Everybody want to be on the winning team. Everybody want to win, but everybody don't want to work. Everybody wants a reward, but everybody don't ever want to work. We all got to work. I got to show up and show up 120. Every time, where much is given, much is required, but you gonna get the rewards. Rewards come after you work, not before. The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. We not gonna wait. We gonna do work. We gonna put in work because every time you put in work, you get the same consequences. You get paid. You get rewarded. Discipline is you do it so long and so hard, and you're so passionate about it that even when you don't feel like it, you still operate at the highest level. Beast mode is I will not stop.
stop when others stop. I will not quit when it gets hard. I will not complain. I will not worry. I will not fret. I will find a way when there is no way. I will make a door when there is no door. I will create a window when there is no window. I will create finance when there is no finance. I will find an opportunity when it doesn't exist. But I will not be defeated because I know what my desires are and I know what I deserve. The reason why you stop and you start and you stop and you start is because the goal is not meaningful enough. You don't have enough skin in it. You don't have nothing to lose if you don't do it. What I'm telling you is you got to create the type of scenario that if it doesn't work, you lose everything. And because you cannot lose everything, you've got to make it happen. If you just decide, I'm going to keep my word. If I say something, I'm going to do it regardless. Being more considerate, more trusting, more disciplined. You owe it to yourself to give it your best effort. If you get in the habit of being mediocre or doing just enough to get by, you're not hurting anybody but you. You're cheating you. If you follow it through, if you keep your commitment to the commitment, you'll feel strong and powerful. That kind of commitment, that kind of spirit, that kind of personal power, that kind of vision is in you. Decide to be better. Decide to get better. Decide to get after it. When you're working and you're trying to make things happen for your family, for yourself, but life keeps hitting you relentlessly when everything is telling you to quit, what keeps you going? I want to remind y'all of the power of the mind. You can think your way into stress. You can think your way into misery, frustration, but if you change your mind, it'll change your life. You just have to decide in your mind what you want it to be. You just have to wake up. You just have to break that negative spirit. You have to break through. As we begin to look at what we want, what's going to be crucial for you is to look toward the future and every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something, putting yourself down, being negative about you and the possibilities for you, you've got to literally catch yourself. And you've got to affirm to yourself in the process, hey, 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 no, 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 I can make it. There's some way this can happen for me. It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? You've got to say yes to your life. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes. Yes. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. Yes. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes! Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're gonna stand up for something you want. You have miracle working power in your life right now, but you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. There is no mistake that you can't rebound from. There is no mistake that you can't get back up from. You better be resilient. I don't care what happened. You can bounce back up again and make it happen. What I've gone through will not define me. The best is yet to come. I'm a fight to the finish because giving up is not an option. Being poor is not an option. Being set out in the cold is not an option. No, you're busy rebuilding. You are busy recalculating and making a radical change in yourself and asking yourself, what is it about me that I must change? You want to be committed to taking care of yourself. As you go into action, and as you hold that thought in consciousness persistently, you will begin to realize powers and abilities you have. You will realize you have miracle working power in you. 
When you're a warrior, you're willing to fight for your dream. You're willing to realize that you will fail your way to success. You're willing to make it okay if people don't like you or disagree with you. You're willing to fight even though the odds are stacked against you. You are willing to have a spirit of optimism when you've lost everything materialistically. But if you got a pulse, if you woke up this morning, you, when you're a warrior, you're willing to fight. You fight and you either win or you die trying. There are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. You so, so, sort of put a mask on your face and pretend that everything's okay when it's not and you go home and lay in your bed when no one's looking at you when you don't have to impress anybody and you're yourself. And fear comes in. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. Maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you. Just that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? Every time you hit a low place, don't those voices come back up again? Every time things go wrong, don't those voices come back? You start saying to yourself, I'm a mess up, I'm a failure, I'd be better off not being here. We just keep feeding ourselves this toxic thinking. The biggest single obstacle standing in your way to success is not lack of education, it's not lack of background, it's not lack of money, it's lack of belief in yourself. The fundamental key to success is what you believe is true for yourself. Not what you want, not what you desire. It's what do you believe? You have never changed your belief and you will never completely be healed or whole until you change the voice inside of your own head. What I've learned is that I have to start talking to myself. I'm like, Rich, you're great. You can do this. Rich, you can handle this. Rich, this is not a big deal. You're amazing. Rich, this too shall pass. The predicament that you are in right now does not define your destiny. You ought to look at every negative situation in your house and say you're a liar. Every time something whispers in your ear and says you can't make it through this, you can't take this, you're going to have a nervous breakdown, you're going to lose your mind, you're going to die like your mama did, you're going to get sick like your daddy did. You got to talk back to those voices and say, hey, you're lying on me, I'm better than this. Every voice that said you'll never be nothing, you got to call it out, you're a liar. Sickness is a liar. Failure is a liar. Despair is a liar. Disease, you're a liar. Can't learn, you're a liar. Can't read, you're a liar. Can't make it, you're a liar. Can't take it. You ought to call out every liar. You need to abort every voice that says you can't do it, you can't have it, you can't be it, you'll never get up, you'll never survive. Abort that thing. Push it out. Life gonna whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop whining. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Be demanding. Let it hit you, but don't let it punk you. Now, if you're gonna hurt anyhow, get some yardage out of it. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. I don't care if you've been beaten to the floor, if your legs are too tired to lift that weight. Break through that barrier and create new ones for you and for others to show off. Get back up and live life. Whoever stays down is a loser, and winners will fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. It's a guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tells him on fortune, stand back up, stand back up. The perseverance, the see it through, the never say die attitude. But if I don't win, I showed up, I gave my valid effort. And tomorrow I'll do the same thing. And I'll continue to throw shit against the wall. Every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. The moments that take your breath away are the ones that count. You need the downs to make the ups. You need the ups to create the downs. You need to feel the opposites to truly understand the full reality of the life you are living. You can dream of these things, but understand you can also achieve them. Other people have done it, then we can do it. We fail a lot of times. Well, a lot of other folks fail, and eventually they came back and they succeeded. So it's possible we can have what we want, and it's necessary. We get negative, do-nothing people out of our lives. It's necessary. We never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves. It's necessary that we never give up. Whatever we have to do, it's worth it.
There will be times when you will feel alone, when you'll feel deserted, when you'll feel weak and you doubt yourself and other people will doubt you and you ask yourself, am I crazy? Maybe I don't have what it takes. That's going to happen. But I'll tell you something. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to stop when you've come this far? Who on this earth would still be going right now? You are. You are. You're still alive. You're still breathing. And if you're still breathing, that means you've still got some fight left in you. If you are still alive, there's still room for improvement. There's still room to grow and be better. Things are going to get harder. Things are going to get tougher. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. You will be tested. And how you face that test determines the rest of your life. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. When you want something, don't expect everybody to say, oh, you want this? Oh, great, we want to give this to you. No, many doors will be closed in your face. Many loans that you will want. And they'll say, no, you don't have enough credit. And most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be fearless. I refuse to be denied. And I'm going to go all out. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. Don't let nobody steal your dream. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop running toward your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. When you have fear, fear makes you think in ways you shouldn't be thinking. When you have fear, fear makes you speak in a certain way. But when you have faith, you don't need to count. When you have faith, you don't need to go outside. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many horses. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many armies. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many swords. When you have faith, you don't need to count no shields. When you have faith, you just believe that it'll happen. You concentrate on this opportunity. You don't worry about tomorrow. You concentrate on this opportunity with all your might, with all your soul, with all your heart. You focus on this, and tomorrow will take care of itself. Write down at least five reasons on why you won't give up, what's going to make you unstoppable, why you must be unreasonable, because logical, practical thinking says you can't do it today. But if you want to produce unreasonable results in your life, you've got to be an unreasonable person. You've got to be an uncommon person. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one, that you are entitled to this, you're supposed to have this. This is your calling. This is your time. When you no longer focus on the obstacles, when you no longer care what people think or what they might say, when you no longer find the need to seek their approval, it's done. When the pressure within you is greater than the pressure outside of you. I don't care who you are. Life's going to punch you in the face. Sometimes life will take you to your knees. Sometimes you have to cry. Sometimes will hurt deep inside. In time of adversity, you don't have an obstacle to deal with. You have a choice to make. You can suffer or you can choose to do whatever you need to do to liberate yourself. Whatever you need to do to reinvent yourself. Whatever you need to do to overcome whatever you are stuck in right now. It does not have to be your residency. You keep standing. No matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what you don't give up, you keep standing. No matter what. You gotta be bold in life, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not bold, if you're not standing up inside yourself, if you're not willing to call into being the highest and the strongest that's within you when you're facing life's challenges, life will trample you. But see, when you discover the truth of this goodness, this power that you have within you, that truth will set you free from ever being a victim in life. That truth 
will enable you to handle things with a level of equanimity that will surprise you. Getting unstuck means that you are going to start living life on your terms rather than just gliding through every day on automatic. That you have a special power within. That you know that things are going to get better for you. You know that you can handle this. And because you want some different kind of results in your life, you've got to decide that I'm going to go all out. We decide which moments define us. Will it be the moment we get knocked down? Or will it be the moment when we get back up? This is when we show the world what we're made of. Listen to me, you can't give up. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But if life's got you down, I need you to get up and prove them wrong. We all be the test in life. Some of us play the damn Others find a way around the most. Families in everyone. It's about keeping the motivation to keep moving forward on the same exact path that you just failed. People who operate in darkness, they are relentless. They never stop. And we have to make it our full-time job to fight back. You got to put your foot down. You got to get an attitude. You got to get fired up. You got to get up, look at the man in the mirror, and go, this is what I'm doing today, whether they like it or not. I don't give a f Everybody's focusing on the stupidity things that they got on the news. Don't watch the news no more. I give you the real news. You know what the news is about today? You and how you're going to conquer the world. And don't be disturbed because no one else can see it. That's not unusual. You've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. You need to change on how you look at those people, what they say to you. You gotta start arming your mind. Start preparing yourself for what's out here in life. Build confidence, build self-esteem. So if people talk shit to you, it doesn't fucking matter. That's great power in adversity. If you're a victim of any kind, make sure you use that shit to become successful. It's about going that extra step in the front of camp. That's what builds self-respect, self-esteem, self-discipline, all those things. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. Everybody has a defining moment. Whatever your defining moment is, own it. And say to yourself, after today, I will do whatever it takes to become everything I can become. Raise the bar on yourself. Challenge yourself. Expect things to be great for you because you're going to show up differently. Fight like a warrior and die a legend. The easiest thing I do every year, ladies and gentlemen, is earn millions of dollars. That's the easy part. Speaking of corporations, that was easy to do. Let me tell you what it took me years to do was to believe that I could do it. That's the biggest thing that you will have to overcome. I would go see these various speakers and I would sit back and watch them. And I would start going to the car, be fired up. I said, I could do that. And my mind then would say, Les Brown, you can't do that. You don't have a college education. Les Brown, you can't do that. You've never worked for a major corporation. Les Brown, you can't do that. You've never had any experience doing things like this before. You don't know the right people. You don't have the complexion of connection. Why would someone hire you? Why would someone hire you to teach them and to motivate them to do something that you have never done? Be practical, be realistic, be logical. It can't be done. You have no credentials. And so based upon that, I didn't even attempt to do it. I held myself back. Maya Angelou said that most people go so far in life and then they park. They take some hits. They have some failures. They have some disappointments. And they stop dead in their tracks. I went through a divorce from someone that I love very much. I was embarrassed. Boom. My mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. I was hurt. Boom. My best friend was diagnosed with cancer of the liver. Boom. I took a hit. I was diagnosed nine years ago with prostate cancer and given two to three years to live. Boom. I took a hit. I parked. I took so many hits. Perhaps that's what Bigger Thomas said. The impulse to dream has been slowly beaten out of me through the experiences of life. Wasn't even dreaming anymore. I didn't even know where I was. You'll think, this is it for you. And other people will think you're done too. They'll be telling you to give up. And people you thought that would support you will turn against you. They'll criticize you. They'll tear you down. Your life will be full of darkness and you won't see a way out. But when you're down in that hole, I want you to remember something. The only person who can save you is you. Your job in this moment 
is to muster up enough strength to push yourself back out of your negative pattern of thinking and into the arena of life once again. If you spend 30 minutes thinking about the fact you can't do something, I need you to spend an hour dreaming about the fact that you can. What's the worst thing that can happen if I decide to take a chance on me? People laugh at me, I lose all my money, so I can come back again. See, my wealth is not determined based upon what I have, my wealth is determined based upon who I am. That's why I want you to increase your goals dramatically. And I don't want you to ask yourself how you're going to do it, how is none of your business. There's a reason we're told to walk by faith and not by sight. The reason we're told to call forth those things that be not as though they were. You have power in you that you don't even know. You want to develop an ongoing strategy, a plan of action of self-empowerment. So you've got to listen to music and speeches that can uplift you. Read books to strengthen your thoughts. Watch movies that fire you up because you're going to constantly have low moments where you won't want to keep going. You'll want to just fall apart. So you've got to control what you let in your mind and reprogram it with positivity. If you don't program your mind, life will program you. Monitor your self-talk and realize that you're more than able. You were born for this, that you have the power within you to live your dream. And as you read and feed your mind with the pictures and the dreams and the words that empower you, it does something to you, it stimulates you, it inspires you. And you say, hey, I can do it too. And you find yourself being competent. Let that drive you to make sure you do your homework, to work hard at developing technical mastery, of covering all of your bases, so that whatever comes, you can handle it. If you listen to what everybody else is saying, if you judge according to appearances, then you will find yourself constantly being negative. But you want to go to the other end of the spectrum. You want to know some way, somehow, things are going to get better. How? I don't know, and I don't have to know. I just have to have faith and believe that everything's gonna be all right. All I need to do is to know it, to expect it, and to keep on doing what I can, where I am, with what I've got right now. Start planning and preparing for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. If you want to come out here and reach your goals and make your dreams come true, you don't want to do it by dragging and doing it casually. No, you want to begin to put out more energy and more effort than ever before. You've got to become unstoppable because there will be many things to turn you around. You've got to think constantly on why you're doing it. What are the rewards? What's there for you across the goal line? What are the things that will make it worth it for you? My life is worthwhile. Doesn't matter what I've experienced. Doesn't matter about what I don't have. Doesn't it doesn't matter about what I've gone through. What's important is that where I am right now, that I live life and I experience my life fully. And you owe it to yourself. So when you get up in the morning, that you can look yourself in the face and say, hey, I'm living my life on my terms. There are moments in your life that you feel overwhelmed by life, by people, by your own issues, by your own circumstances by demands, by struggles. You're gonna fail and you're gonna be in your head. You're gonna be saying, I'm not good enough. Life has a way of humbling you. Life will make you shut up. Life will mute you, shut you down. Because all of us, if you live long enough, will go through a period of feeling so overwhelmed that you think of one more thing, if the phone rings one more time, if I get a, another text, if I get another email, and sooner or later you feel, oh God, just get me out of this. At times you won't want to come out of the house. At times you'll be feeling bad and don't know why, what's wrong, I don't know. Just leave me alone. Why did that happen? I don't know. It's called life. And you have to deal with it. Don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you quit. The part of beginning to get unstuck, you've got to decide that the behavior pattern that you have adopted doesn't work for you. You've got to change your strategies. And changing your strategy means reinventing your life. Recreating you. And you have the power to do that. You want to take responsibility for your life. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. 
You can permit it to let it hold you down or you can decide I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm bigger than this. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. You can decide I'm going to work on myself and develop myself. I'm going to empower me. And all of these things that are happening to me right now, they're just temporary inconveniences. They're not stronger than I am. I'm in charge here. I am not phenomenally skilled, but phenomenally real. I will not give up. I will not surrender. I will not quit. It is a phenomenal will that says every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. I need you to match whatever effort the enemy is putting up. Whoever your enemy is, match the dog on effort. The only thing you got as a man, your character, your integrity, and what you say, though. What you say, what it means to you. If there's any fear in your spirit right now, it ain't for you. This sh for warriors, man. This sh for soldiers, man. To him who much is given, much is required. You cannot build anything that won't bring a battle. And if you're going through a battle right now, it's only because you're building something. Your pain ain't permanent. It might last for a second. It might last for a minute. It might last for an hour. It might last for a week. It might last for months. But sooner or later, if you do not surrender, if you do not give up, if you do not give in, it will subside. You can talk like a victim, you can act like a victim, or you could be a victor, and you can say, despite the odds, I will defy the odds. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you, or will you let it redefine you? You've got to continue to work on yourself personally. You've got to decide to be relentless. You've got to decide never to give up. You've got to find some reasons within yourself that will give you the stamina when life catches you on the blind side to get back up again, to keep on calling and coming back again and again and again. You're going to quit or you're going to make it to yourself. You're going to quit or you're going to make it to your goal. Because life is a fight. It's a fight for integrity. It's a fight for character. It's a fight for a good reputation, your goals, your dreams, your ambitions, because they don't give you those things when you're born. So every morning, I've got to wake up and I've got to fight. i got to fight for my dreams. i got to fight for character. i got to fight for integrity. But to win fights, you got to have stamina. you got to be ready to fight and bounce back. Punch and counter punch, jab and jab back. You better not feel sorry for yourself. You better not lay down and quit. You better get up and fight. Because a happy spirit does a body good like mess. Shark the hundreds and predators, they never stop swimming. In fact, if a shark stops swimming, it will die. If a shark goes backwards, it will die. Think like a shark, act like a shark, and behave like a shark. I'm gonna think, I'm gonna execute, and I'm gonna win. I'm going to execute what I've been trained to do. You got to chase it. Like a man possessed, you got to go get it. And that's how you get to the next level. You have to be disciplined every single day and train yourself to follow through on all your fundamentals and that's how you're going to be successful. You have to do it when you don't feel like it. You have to do it when you feel discouraged. You have to do it when you don't feel healthy. You have to do it when you're under the weather. Every single day, you have to train yourself to focus and commit to your business and follow through. And don't you quit. A few of you know what it is to have something to so scald you, so burn you, so beat you, so pulverize you, that your fight goes out of you. And you're so scattered and so broken and so fragmented that you don't even know whether you could ever live again or whether you will ever smile again or whether you will ever live to fight another day or whether you'll be able to pull yourself together just to fake a smile for a few minutes in front of people to say, I'm doing okay, knowing you're lying on the inside. I'm talking about going through so much that something inside of you dies. And you wonder, can I get back up again? In that moment when life comes at you the fucking hardest, you will panic and you will forget who the fuck you are. Success will taste stressful because your opportunities come wrapped in opposition. Opportunity comes in chaos. It is good to be uncomfortable. I've never met anybody who was terribly creative or gifted or strong in leadership who was also comfortable. 
those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the times and rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toll to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care what it is. I don't care how many times you've had to cry yourself to sleep. I don't care how difficult it is. Don't you dare give up now. Because whatever is over you defines you. And whatever defines you limits you. You better put some strength in your back, plant your feet, square your shoulders, and stand up to it. Don't you dare sit down. Don't you dare crumble under the weight of it. Don't you dare give in because of the nature of it. Don't you dare go home and raise the white flag of surrender. This is not your season to die. This is not your season to quit. There's joy, there's peace, there's breakthrough, but you'll never see it if you don't stand up to it. I'm not trying to veer to the left or veer to the right or gradually get it together. I'm getting ready to do something so radical and so massive. I'm going to turn the whole thing 180 degrees. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. I will break you. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You can't take me. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop this. You can't stop it. You've been through so much hell. You won't quit now. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life. But I know what it feels like, and I can handle it. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. Go get your doggone stuff, and don't let nobody tell you no. Don't run from the chaos. Stand still, and let the chaos run from you. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. I will not be outworked, period. You might have more talent than me. You might be smarter than me. You might be all of those things. You got it on me in nine categories. But if we get on the treadmill together, there's two things. You're getting off first or I'm going to die. It's really that simple. I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or this gift for creativity or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. But what I got is I will outwork you. When it's 45 on the treadmill, I do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, I make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight hour workday, I work nine. Whatever it is, I always do one more. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do, so I should get things other people aren't gonna get. You've gotta understand, it's not about what you were born with. It's not about what you were given, where you started, or even where you're going. It is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul. How hard you're willing to go after something. How much focus you're willing to put in your life. And how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be. You have to make a decision that nobody in your position will outwork you. Some people run faster, swim better, but mentality is mentality. You're not gonna outwork me, so I'm gonna catch up somewhere. If you are not that talented, you can beat them with time. You can get to the spot before they get to the spot. Get your butt up and get there. You gotta kill. What's gonna separate you from everybody else? I do things to separate myself from everybody else. The passion that I have, the grind that I have when I do what I do. I got a different motor. I got a different grind. I'm always gonna give it my 110%. That's the only thing I can ever say a solid day's work. If you guys do not do that, I promise you, your life will haunt you for the rest of your days. From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. It doesn't mean you're gonna score every time, but you can always give 120% effort. 
You can't dictate what kind of game you're going to have. You can't dictate how your body is going to respond to moving around. But you can dictate your effort. Your dream comes when you push. And I'm not going to give you no cookies and ice cream. Push. It's alive. It's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it. You eat and sleep it every day. So push. Just push past the fight. Push. Don't quit. Push. And you push your way to success. You have a chance to control your destiny. All of us are created equal. Some of us just work harder. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I gotta take it, and I gotta take it to another level. You get a breakthrough when you fight. That's the hardest part, because the breakthrough, that last 10% is all mental toughness. It's time to unwrap the potential you be. It's within you. And the people that have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just they believed it, and they're willing to work their keen ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential. It wasn't about the genetics. It was about the perseverance. And it was about being the hardest working worker in the room. At some point, everything's going to go south on you. Then you're going to say, this is it. This is how I end. Now, you can either accept that, or you can get to work. You just begin. You do the math, you solve one problem, and you solve the next one. Instead of backing down, you push yourself forward into the unknown. Do you realize that every day you thought you wasn't gonna make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't gonna endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%? You batting a thousand. You survived every hater. You survived all the evictions. You survived the firings. You survived all the tell you no, we ain't hiring. You survived all the trouble you ever been in. Your survival rate is 100%. You got to proactively prepare to catch yourselves. When you find yourself getting negative with people that you have allowed to push your buttons, when you find yourself becoming negative about what's happening to you and the circumstances that you're involved in. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. You're going to hit a wall. Everybody hits the wall. And that wall shocked some people. That wall knocked the life out of some people. That wall discouraged some people. The wall is painful. Some will choose to go back. But there's some small number who, when they hit that wall, they decide, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be over there. This person doesn't care about the pain because this person knows something. There's no gain without pain. So this person comes back anyhow again and again and again and if you keep on hitting that wall here's what happens to you that you will have an incredible breakthrough and it's as if the universe says let's help him out i admire that kind of tenacity let's give her a hand let's send her assistance send her resources it will come out of nowhere as you're working times with tears falling down your face and you'll look back on the times and you will cherish those times. Whatever storm you found yourself in today, don't give up. And I know it hurts. And I know you don't want to take it anymore. Your dreams look like you're seeing them from underwater. But don't give up. You have not seen the best days of your life yet. But you have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. If you live your life in expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. Say this to yourself every day. It's not over until I win. Not over till I get through. Not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. Door can't open today, look out. I'm gonna come back and take the hinges off. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how we must be. No guts, no glory. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. you ladies and gentlemen you gotta take personal
personal responsibility to make it happen. Nobody is going to care more about your dream than you. No one is going to care more about you becoming diamond than you. If you want to make it happen, it's you. But you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. Everybody in your life will have a turn back moment. No matter who you are, you're going to have such a period in your life where it seems like it's not working. You're going to have doubts. You're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations and challenges. You always have a moment in your life where the direction you're going, you will have to make a decision to keep going or you turn back. The sad thing is the average person turns back. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Fall down, get back up again. Fall down, get back up again. Fall down, get back up again. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. The hardships that we've had are actually the things that teach us the skills and the perspective we need to actually become what we want to be. And if you quit, if you falter, if you stop, all the pain will be for nothing. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I don't care how low you are. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have experienced. I don't care how devastated your life might appear to be. The shambles it might be in. Wherever you are in life, ladies and gentlemen, you've got comeback power. There's a power in you that can enable you to be stronger and better than anything that's out here. Once you begin to know who you are, once you discover this power, the perfect essence of who you are, that's in all of us, that's permeating our being, that enable us to be the directors of our lives. It will set you free from believing, I can't see myself doing any better. That you truly can live a healthy, happy, prosperous life and that you can make it in what are called the worst of times. Tough times never last, but tough people do. And you are tough. Whatever it is I want, this price is going to get much higher than this. It's going to get harder than this. And I've decided in advance it's going to be difficult, and I've decided in advance to stay in. I'm going to stay in the hunt. I'm going to stay fighting. I'm going to stay busting it. I'm going to pay the price until I get what it is that I deserve. The people in life that win play offense, not defense. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You have to resolve yourself today that you're going to win, that you're going to dominate, that you're not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're going to dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play. And that takes some intestinal fortitude. It takes a decision. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided at some point I get to just choose who I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. And in every family, there's a the one that eventually shows up in a family. They rise up and changes the whole family forever. I'm the damn one. And in your family, you could be the one. It's you. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. But you know it's going to be hard. But find out what will make it worth it for you. When life drops you to your knees, your reasons will help you get back up. Why are you here, Les? Because I want to make Mama proud. Why are you here, Les? I promised my kids something to do for them. I'm going to give them a better life. I want to leave them a legacy. I'm not going to give up. Go back. Go back, fool. Go back. No, no. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one. I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it.